Hi everyone, my name is Cha Cha Chen, and I'm excited to share our work on uncertainty-based health risk prediction. Um, this is a joint work with Junjie Liang, Feng Longma, Lucas Glass, Jin Men Sun, and Cao Xiao. I did this work while I was interning with IQVIA last summer. While the research community has proposed a variety of ways to use machine learning for health risk prediction, one typical paradigm is to predict the probabilities of a certain disease for patients given the patient's electronic health record or EHR data. In our work, we aim to improve the machine learning model from two perspectives, the input and the output. From an input perspective, existing machine learning models all ignore the importance of online public health data, especially the demographics and location-based health risk factors. In fact, many of these public health data are strong predictive signals and can definitely help to improve the model accuracy. For example, um, environmental factors were proved to be an important risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. Hence, how to utilize this data from different sources to enhance the prediction performance is a new challenge for risk prediction task. In this work, we aim to leverage multi-source data. From an output perspective, existing machine learning models usually only output a probability score, which are prone to be overconfidence. For example, um, suppose that there's a binary classification task. On the first figure, we have the input data. We show the results of a probabilistic model and a neural network in the second and third figure. Um, as we can see here, the neural network cannot model the distribution of the input data, so it cannot give uncertain scores for each prediction. On the contrary, Gaussian process a probabilistic model um, can model the input data distribution. This is especially useful in clinical domain where the model reliability is of crucial importance. In this case, the uncertainty estimation can help detect the out of distribution patients whose predictions are quite uncertain. So in our, in our work, we aim to model the uncertainty along with the prediction labels. To address the aforementioned challenges, we propose UNITE, an uncertainty-based risk prediction model. UNITE aim, aims, aims to leverage multi-source data and to model uncertainty scores simultaneously. And how do we do that? In order to leverage multi-source data, we propose the fused multi-model deep kernel module. First, we design different embedding frameworks for input data with different uh, modalities then to learn a shared representation of the input or the input data, we leverage a multi-model fusion mechanism. On the, on the other hand, in order to model the uncertainty along with the prediction labels, we introduce a stochastic variational inference model. The patient embedding vector V, as shown here, uh, is first passed into an RBF kernel warping function and then we use the variational inference module with inducing points as an approximate technique to deal with large-scale input data. In this way, we can get predictions along with the uncertainty score. For more details, please refer to our paper. To validate our model, we conducted a large-scale and comprehensive experiment. We investigated two kinds of disease the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NASH, abbreviated as NASH, and the Alzheimer. Um, here's the on, uh, he on the left, here's the table, uh, here's the table of the data statistics of the EHR data. We also leverage multi-source data, which is also available on the CDC website. For example, uh, we leverage the patient's demographics, such as age, gender, and also location-based health risk factors, uh, for example, their obesity, smoking, physical activity, and nutrition. And uh, here's an over overall table results of our experiment. We prepare three metrics, the F1 score, 
uh, Copen's Carpa, P R A U C. Uh, we also compare our model with two sets of baselines. First, the deep neural networks. Um, those are the models using deep neural networks proposed previously in the healthcare domain. Um, we, the second set of baselines are deep neural networks with uncertainty estimations, um, such as deep ensemble, MC dropout, DME GP, and uh, many more. We also show two variants of the UNITE model, as it is shown here. For all metrics, UNITE outperforms all the baseline methods in these two tasks. We also show that leveraging the uncertain score, we can improve the prediction um, by, remo by removing the samples with high uncertainty scores. Um, for example, by by removing 80% of the uncertainty score, we can see a consistent improve in those metrics in two of the tasks. Moreover, we also show that UNITE is able to learn a global correlation between patients. Um, here's a toy example of our model UNITE in compare with the state-of-the-art pro deep probability deep probabilistic model DMEGP proposed in 2020 AI. We show that UNITE learns meaningful global correlation and it can cluster patients based on the um, global similarities. We have now come to the end of the presentation and here we summarize our three main contributions. First, a stochastic variational inference module to provide accurate prediction and the patient level on the score. Second, um, an adaptive deep kernel to integrate location-based public health risk factors. Third, a comprehensive evaluation and benchmarking on health risk prediction with eight baselines, four deep learning neural networks, and four probabilistic deep learning networks. On two disease data set, NASH and Alzheimer, the links to our full paper and uh, the GitHub, GitHub code repository are in the slides. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please don't hesitate to reach me or Danica Sal by email. Thank you so much for listening.